Nebraska loses 24-17 to Wisconsin in overtime, failing at, what, their third attempt to get to bowl eligibility, and it was really disappointing, and oh my God. I, there's going to be so much second-guessing in this game, I know, and I don't really think there should be a whole lot of it. I, again, you know, I did that other video about why you hate your offensive coordinator. You hate your offensive coordinator because you already know the outcome of the plays. Let's go early. or Yeah, you know what, early on. 14 to nothing, Nebraska, it looks like it's going to be an ass-kicking. We look really, really good. The first quarter was the best quarter of football we've played in, I don't know, 20 years. I don't know if it's 20 years, but it's a long time, and they look good doing it. And then we go down, we go for the fourth and two. We don't get the fourth and two. Wisconsin gets momentum. They score the next 17 points. And a lot of people are probably going to be saying, well, they should have taken the field goal there. That's a big difference. Okay, if you take, make the fourth and two there, there is a damn good chance you go on to score and go up 21 to nothing, and you break Wisconsin's back. Because they didn't have a lot of confidence coming into this game. That's the chance you take of making that call on fourth and two. And of course you'd say, well, we should have taken the points because they didn't make the fourth and two. If we'd have made the fourth and two and got up 21, we'd all think they were fucking geniuses. That's really it. That's it. That's early on in the game. Why do you think later in the game, Wisconsin went for it on fourth and two and got stuffed twice until the overtime but they went for it on fourth and two or whatever, fourth down twice and got stuffed twice by our defense. Why? Because they knew if they made those fourth down, fourth down plays and converted them, they would probably put the game away. So, you know, that's neat. It's, you can second guess that part. Fine. You can second guess a lot of stuff in this game. You know, throwing the ball, doing this, doing that. Uh, put Chubba Purdy into this game. I can't remember. It was a quarterback rating in regulation of 162. I don't really have to look, but I'm pretty sure that Nebraska, that's the best Nebraska quarterback rating that we have had, well, certainly all this season. But Chubba Purdy came into this game, and he played really well. He didn't have a turnover until it was a desperation throw at the, the last play of the game in overtime. <sighs> you could complain that we threw the ball too much. You could hate that, for example, the one play that was way out, you know, one of those sideways horizontal plays to Billy Kemp that got blown up and put us off schedule on that one series. You could go, hey, they should never do that again. Well, those are constraint plays. They're designed to pull the defense out instead of letting them stack in the middle. And that play isn't a bad play if Alex Bullock actually blocks a guy and doesn't get, let Billy Kemp get blown up. Uh, right, or, or, overtime. We ran that, wasn't really a triple option because the fullback was coming around. And the fullback didn't block anybody. I don't know what the hell he was supposed to be doing on that play. But he let a guy right, go right by him and blow up the play. And there's a lot of plays like that where you can see that the execution is almost there. But it isn't there. And therefore, Nebraska could only score 17 points. And that's frustrating. The good news was... Well, before I say that, I know there's probably going to be a lot of people that say our defense didn't play well at all. We gave up 17 freaking points in, in, in regulation. That's, that's playing well. We gave up plays to Tanner Mordecai, made some exceptional plays. He was slippery. People might say, well, we couldn't tackle. Okay, well, you go tackle a mobile, agile quarterback on which you probably have a poor angle. And I, I, that's the thing. Tanner Mordecai made some really good plays in this game, and shit, you know what I mean? That's what happens. You can complain about them, that's what we do. They, the defense, I think, for them, they did play. They played a good game. Remember all those past years we'd gone to Wisconsin? Remember you people that would right now go, I wish we'd never fire Bo Pelini? Well, Bo Pelini gave up 409 yards to Melvin Gordon in three quarters one time at Wisconsin. Would you like that defense back? Uh, Jonathan Taylor ran wild over 228 yards, I think, once. On and on and on. This defense did not, was not those defenses. So this defense did not lose us to the game. They kept us in this game again. And while Wisconsin made some plays, that's what opposing teams are going to do. It sucks that we lost this game. 
You know, you had another team that looked like they were on the ropes and they were literally ready to throw in the season. They come out against Nebraska. And honestly, they're playing at home. And you really should expect to, you know, play well at home. This game is in Nebraska. Nebraska probably wins it. It's not in Nebraska. It's in Wisconsin. We don't win it. Uh, you could play. You could complain about, you know, Tristan Alvano missing that 50. Was a 50-yard field goal. It's a long field goal for a freshman on the road. And you could complain all you want about him. But I think that if there's anything that anybody has that is a really solid complaint about the play calling or about the way the game was managed, it's uh, why, why did we have three fucking timeouts with like 26 seconds left, I think it was, and we didn't do anything. It was like, oh, what do you want to do? I don't think we should go to Burger King for lunch. You know, and we just, we, did we play for a field goal? Because that's dumb. I think it's dumb. You're going to play to get into overtime so you can lose in overtime? I just, that whole, the game, if I had one complaint I'd say about Matt Rule, it would be the, the game management at the end of the games. They didn't really need to clean that up. There's something weird going on there that's really shitty, and they need to figure that out. I would really interested to see what they have to say about, oh, yeah, we had three timeouts with 26 seconds left, so we just let the clock run because we were going to play for overtime. Well, that's, that's the dumbest shit stuff I ever heard. Play for to- overtime on the road in Wisconsin. We haven't won since 1966. Fuck that shit. You know, I did a survey. You really should look at our articles on coordination.com if you're only watching YouTube. I did an article early this week where I ask questions. I survey people about the Nebraska fan base. And I asked two questions last week. And one was, do you think Nebraska would make a bowl game? And 49% people before this game said no. Or said yes. So 51% of people said no. And then I also asked, do you feel like the program is going in the right direction under Matt Rule? And 91% of the people said yes. And I found that shocking. And the reason why I found it shocking is I think it's hard to get 91% of anybody to agree on anything ever. And the fact that 91% of Nebraska fans... Uh, agree that Matt Rule is going in the right direction is, you know, that's pretty pretty awesome. I mean, it's pretty, it's, the fan base is pretty united. The 9% that thinks we aren't is obviously pretty vocal on social media and things like that because I never thought that percentage would be that high. I don't know what else to say about this game. Chubba Purdy played well. I think that it's, you know, you look at the offense, you can complain. I'm sure we're going to hear about more from people about Marcus Satterfield needs to be fired and his play calling is awful and stuff. And, uh, I again, it'd be the fourth offensive coordinator in four years. I don't see the point in that. I also don't see the point in it when Matt Rule has already said it's ridiculous to think that way. And the fact that, uh, well, we've lost most of our top receivers and running backs. One of the things... We didn't turn the ball over, like I said earlier, uh, until the final play of the game. And, well, that's good. I mean, I I think everybody would say, if we don't turn the ball over, we're going to win. And, you know, we came pretty damn close to it. A lot closer, and I think that we were down, what was it, uh, 14 to 10 for a long time? I can't remember what score. Which, 17 to 14? I don't remember. I'm just spitballing here. Um... I swear to God, most people on our, on our game thread and most people on Twitter, we might as well have been down by 58 points. Came back, tied it, and over, tied it, sent it to overtime. <sighs> I thought it was, you know, good resolution, resilience by the offense to go down the field and try to chub a pretty and tie the game. That was excellent. We didn't turn the ball over. That's where I was. I was trying to get back to the path that I had in my head. But what we saw come back into the game was the things that we hadn't seen in the last two weeks. And that were dumb penalties. There were false starts, you know. There, I think there were a couple holding calls or one holding call, you know. I don't know if there were any really, you know, you could complain about the officiating. The fishing's always, officiating is always kind of going to be, well, they're always going to miss calls. If there's one call I wish they'd had back, 
It was in uh, overtime. Tanner Mordecai is scrambling. I think it's Nick Heinrich who is coming up to sack him. And he very clearly gets tripped by Braylon Allen. It is clear, and it's wide out in the open. And you're like, he just, he sticks his legs up to trip our guy. And you're like, that's, the, that's you can't do that. But apparently you can when they don't flag it. I guess, you know, it's really... If we don't make a bowl game, because beating Iowa is going to be very difficult, they have an exceptional defense, and we still can't really score that well on offense, you know, is the season going to be a success? Uh, I'm not going to answer that until next week. I'll leave it up to you guys. I'd love to hear your comments about this game. <sighs> really unfortunate Nebraska loss. I'm not doing this in the bathroom. I'm sitting here next to my buddy who I'm going to go inside and talk to. It's my counseling but um, at my sister's house in Lincoln. Thought about doing it in her bathroom, but she has a nice backyard. <sighs> another week, another disappointment. Thank you all for your support. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate a lot of the responses I got to my uh, video that I did about my heart attack and recovery. And... Uh, I'm in Lincoln for a funeral today, and I guess that puts this in perspective for me. I, you know, it was really sad to see the everybody in my wife's family get together for that because it seems like you get to a certain age, and all you get together for is funerals and weddings, and it's kind of too bad. And by comparison, you know, Nebraska lost a game. There you go. Maybe we'll beat Iowa. That'd be at least sweet. Take care of yourselves. Go Big Red.